Let's say we wanted to figure out what six minus three fourths is equal to. Pause this video and, ha and work through this on your own before we work through this together. All right, now there's a couple of ways that we could think about this. The first way is we could represent this six holes as a bunch of fourths. So how many fourths is six holes? Well, we already know that one is equal to four fourths. So six holes, that's going to be six times as many. So instead of four fourths, you're going to have 24 fourths. So 24 fourths is the same as six. And you could see that because you're going to use four fourths for a whole and you could do that six times. And now we can subtract the three fourths from that. And what does that get us? Well, if I have 24 of something minus three of something, that's going to be 21 of that something. So 24 fourths minus three fourths is 21 fourths. Now there's another way that you could think about this. You could say, well, six is the same thing as five plus one. And you might say, why would I do that? Well, if you have one here, you could subtract three fourths from that. So you could subtract three, let me do that in a different color. You could subtract the three fourths now from the one. And so this is going to be equal to five plus, and let's rewrite one over here. Let me do this in a different color. I'm having trouble changing colors today. One is how many fourths? Well, we already wrote it over here. It's four fourths. So that's four fourths minus, minus three fourths. And what is that going to be equal to? Well, that's going to be equal to, once again, we have this five over here, plus four fourths minus three fourths is, of course, this is going to be one, this over here is going to be one fourth. So you get five plus one fourth is going to be equal to five and one fourth. You might say, hey, is that the same thing as 21 fourths? Well, yes, it is, because five is what? That's the same thing as 20 fourths. So this is 20 fourths plus one fourth, which is 21 fourths. Another way you could think about this, if you were to take four, it goes into 21 five times with a remainder of one. So there's many different ways that you could approach this.